I know everyone thinks Republicans aren't funny, but if you get a bunch of us together, we can be a real riot. (laughs) That was South Carolina Republican Nancy Mace roasting her own party and the Capitol rioters on January 6th during her speech at the Washington Press Club. So there were other jokes at the expense of her party, which honestly I appreciated. I thought they were pretty funny. No, they were shockingly funny. And but more shocking than that was that that's a Republican willing to make those jokes about January 6 being you know riot, let alone the other things she's about to say, which are pretty over the top. Like we'd say them in a second, but I don't think a Democrat would make these jokes. They'd be too scared. If a Democrat or a comedian, just a comedian, made similar jokes at like the White House Correspondents Dinner, she'd be banned. (laughs) She might be, yeah. Yeah. So let's give you the jokes and then I'm gonna give you background on her and Trump too. All right, let's do it. Did you watch the, uh, did you watch McCarthy during the speaker's vote? I know many of you uh, were in the halls of Congress during that vote. I haven't seen someone assume that many positions to appease the crazy Republicans and Stormy Daniels. Let's be honest, we all knew that Matt Gates would never let the vote get to 18. <laughs> that was so savage. Elbow from the sky, man. Okay, pause for a second. So look, I, I'm gonna speculate here because obviously I don't know for sure. But remember when the allegations came out about Matt Gates and, and the DOJ investigation into him uh, possibly paying for an underage girl to have sex with him and and having her travel across state lines to do so. Uh, Other stories came out indicating that there were Republican lawmakers in the House who really didn't like Matt Gates because of his inappropriate behavior. So he would show them pictures of women that he was sleeping with and this, that. I'm wondering if secretly, maybe not so secretly, Nancy Mace is like, don't like Matt Gates. No, I think there's something bigger happening here. Mm. Uh, first of all, I like that she put the mace in Nancy Mace. Mm. Uh, okay, but that was spray some, spray. Yeah, that was some bear spray right there. Okay, <laughs> um, so no, she seems to be angling for I'm the moderate Republican. Okay, because this is the kind of stuff that could put you in a lot of trouble with the right wing. I'm surprised that they haven't all gone to DEFCON 4 already and you know, be like, oh, it's a rhino. That's How weird. dare you? January 6th was just tourism. But that's so weird, Jank. I thought, you know, the right wing really appreciated the art of comedy and wanted to protect comedians when they make edgy jokes, you know? That's, yeah. Isn't that what they're known for? Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, um, so why is she doing this? Um, remember, she was also, look, there is no. Uh, innocent Republicans, okay, they've all kissed Trump's ass. So oh, here yeah. she is taking pot shots at Gates and Trump and January 6th, etc. But she did a video uh, where she was in front of Trump Tower going, oh, I like Donald Trump too. I, oh, look at it. Oh, whoa. Oh, look, Trump Tower's behind me. Oh, oh Trump Tower, yay. She worked. She, so I, I read into it because I was curious what her relationship with Trump is or was. And um, she actually worked on Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 2021, she was one of the many Republicans who voted against impeaching Trump in relation to the January 6 riots that she was uh, referencing in those jokes. Um, she also voted to hold Trump aide Steve Bannon in contempt of Congress for defying a subpoena to testify before the House Select Committee investigating the attack. So she protected Trump. But was you know willing to go after others like Steve Bannon, um, and you know she, you're right. I mean she's really a typical Republican. One of the things that she really wanted to do was repeal, defund, and ultimately stop Obamacare. Um, now with that background though, I do want to go to. I think we have one more video, right? Let's just watch that. It's short, and then you can wrap it up, Jenk. I do have a message for Matt this evening. He really, really wanted to be here tonight, but he couldn't find a babysitter. (laughs) To be his date, I mean, come on. (laughs) Okay, so uh, Republican Civil War continues. Look, she's, you know, I'm not positive how purple her district is. I know she survived a primary challenge, and that's why she was doing the video in front of uh, Trump Tower saying, no, 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 I like Trump, I like Trump. And then as soon as she uh, won the primary, she's like, I don't like Trump. Okay, so 
I mean, she's a very greasy politician, which is what Washington loves. Mm. So she's gonna, uh, even if she loses the primary next time around, she's gonna get, she's got TV pundit written all 100%, over her. 100%. Okay? And she might go for lobbyists, she might go for that, but she's going for the Liz Cheney, moderate Republican, uh, loved by uh, mainstream media angle here. And I'd be very surprised if in a couple of years, she's not a, a some sort of commentator on CNN or another cable news outlet, or MSNBC I mean, might love her. Oh, You were trying to repeal Obamacare, and you, all of your policies and all of your votes were terrible. Welcome to MSNBC, as long as you slightly criticize Donald Trump. I mean, she's telling these jokes during her speech before the Washington Press Club. So maybe she's auditioning. No, good point. So something to keep in mind. But by the way, nonetheless, I love the jokes. Yeah. Fairest show in America. Here at TYT, we work to cut through all the establishment media's biases and bring you the news from a factual and progressive viewpoint. Now allow me to introduce you to Ground News, a new tool that you can use to stay informed on what's really going on around the world. Ground News doesn't just bring you the information, it also provides you with an easy to use rating system that measures each article's political leanings, factuality, and gives you complete transparency on who owns the news that you're reading. Like today, I was on their site and I saw an article about some improvements in the ozone layer. And I was a little skeptical because good news about the climate is pretty rare these days. But with over 100 sources originating from an even spread of news organizations, I was confident that what I was reading was true. So score one for Earth. So get the whole picture and break through the corporate media agenda by subscribing to Ground News today.